know to this thing that you do not know and to help you understand it further. What I often find is that people when they're just reading stuff or that they are looking at it from a factual basis, that could be reading, it could even be on video, depending on how that video is structured, or audio or quizzes, etc. But it's not applied because you're only trying to remember it sort of rote, you're trying to remember it uh, word by word, so to speak, rather than actually applying it to something that you know. So stories and analogies can work really well for this. One learner, learner that was, he was, he was seriously dyslexic, um, but he was an engineer by trade. So he was from really good with his hands, um, knew way ins and rounds are an engine, a pump or whatever. Um, so when it came to actually anatomy side of things, he would relate, say, the heart to the pump on the engine. I'm rubbish with engines, don't get me started with engines. Um, but what he knew about engines, he could relate across. He'd go, oh, that worked in the same way this component of a pump might work. Now, it's different for everybody because everybody has this different level of knowledge about something they're very familiar about. But if you can relate things across, you will find it will help massively. So that's kind of the first part. Is If there's something you're really struggling with with the global concept, say, for example, it's about energy systems, Relate it to your own training, relate it to when you go for a run and you feel yourself going through these different stages of intensity. When you're in the gym, where can you feel or, or see the different types of muscles working? So relating it to something that you already know is probably the biggest part of the learning strategy. 